Robert, your cars have been blocking the driveway recently, which makes it impossible for me and my husband to drive out of our property in the morning. I've been trying to call you and knock on your door numerous times, but no one's answering. Would you mind moving your car so that we can access the driveway and leave home for work? I'm not at home. Stop disturbing me with your petty concerns and wait until I get back. Gosh, you women always have something to say, don't you? Look, I don't mean to be rude or nosy, but I can still clearly hear you and your wife arguing. I know you're in there because your voices are very loud. Please just go out of your house, move your car from the driveway so that me and my husband can go to work. What's so difficult about that? Okay, you know I'm at home, so what? It's a shared driveway, that's why I can park my cars wherever I want. Just take the subway, bus or whatever, it's your business, not mine. Robert. Please do understand that this situation has been going on for a while and causing me and my husband a lot of problems. I've been late to work so many times because of it, which resulted in a dressing down for my boss. I couldn't care less about what your problem is. Look, you're newcomers, so you probably don't have a very good grasp of what it's like to live here. In this neighborhood, it's me and my family who have the whip hand. It's been like that for years and it should stay that way. What you need to do, like all the other good little families around here, is to remain in silence and live by our rules, or else prepare to face consequences. Hey, it's seriously not nice of you to say so. Our family may be new to this community, but we're not new to standing up for ourselves. We're cognizant of our legal entitlements, and we demand you to drive your car somewhere else to make way for us. <laughs> and what if I don't do as you said? Honestly, we have tolerated your misbehavior for the last few months since we moved here, but we will no longer do so, especially not today. I'm sure you're also aware of the many times you and your family have messed with us. Do we need to go over them all again? Please, do enlighten me, because I don't have the slightest clue about what you're accusing me of. Listen, you have repeatedly parked your cars in the driveway, preventing my family from using it. But that's just one thing. You've also allowed your dog to roam around unleashed, and you haven't been picking up after it. We're so tired of having to collect dog poop on our lawn, and the barking that keeps us awake at night is even worse. Not only that, you and your family have been constantly screaming at each other, both inside and outside your home. This is extremely disruptive and disturbing, especially at night. I see that you've already made friends with our big boy Leo. I feed that beast over three pounds of raw meat per day, so I bet his droppings must stink really bad. <laughs> Keep your cat away from Leo's playground, or else it would become a perfect dessert for my dog. You wouldn't want that, would you? But please, continue with the list of accusations. I take every one of them as a compliment. <laughs> you, you and your whole family really have no sense of shame. I have had enough of our cars being damaged by your son. He has vandalized them with balls, hockey pucks, and spray paint. Do you have any idea how much it has cost us to repair our cars? I have had enough of the noise from your leaf blower and loud music every night. It's making it impossible for us to get a good night's sleep. I'm done putting up with all of your nonsense. You're going to pay a heavy price for every single thing you did to me and my family. I can see that you're raging like a bull now, huh? And what exactly are you going to do to make me pay the price? I'm pretty convinced that you're going to do something really drastic, like write me a strongly worded letter, perhaps? <laughs> Look, if you don't get your cars out of the driveway, we'll have no choice but to call the police. One more thing, our shared hallway is not your private dumpster. You do realize that you've been leaving your trash there for weeks, don't you? It's starting to rot and smell really badly. I even saw maggots last time. This is not only disgusting, but it's also a health hazard. When the police arrive, I'm asking you to also take your trash out immediately. Oh, so now you're giving me a warning, huh? I'm so scared that I'm literally shaking in my boots at the moment. <laughs> I mean it. I'm not fooling around with you any longer. I don't intend to waste my breath on someone who is so far gone that they don't even know the difference between right and wrong. This time around, I refuse to back down. Prepare to explain your side of the story to the police. Well then, don't hesitate to call the police on me if you so wish. It's not like it's the first time someone has threatened to report me to the police. And what's the usual outcome? I always win. And what makes you so confident? 
In the end, you and I are both citizens of this country, and we're both subject to its laws and regulations. Just because you're so convinced of being the top dog in this neighborhood doesn't mean that you won't be punished if you do something that's outside the law. Yeah, I bet you're dying to know the reason why I'm so assured of myself, huh? It's because my family has a long history of service in law enforcement. My brother, my father, and even my sister-in-law are all police officers in this area. So tell me, why should I be afraid of anything that has to do with the police? What? How is that even possible? Brother, father, and sister are all police officers? That just can't be true. Yeah. You heard that right. So please, make a 911 call, file a complaint, or get the law involved. Honestly, don't even bother trying to get me in trouble. I'm smarter than you, and I have more resources. Whatever you do, it will backfire on you. You'll be the one who ends up paying for your own actions. Robert. I would prefer to avoid you altogether, but recent events leave me no choice but to have a direct conversation with you. Well, well, well. It seems that little Heidi has wandered back into my life again. How quaint. I see that you're still dwelling on your failed attempt to involve the police in our business, huh? How pathetic. I can't believe you're naive enough to think that they would actually help you. <laughs> Well, nice try hiding like a coward when the police arrived that day. You didn't even have the guts to open the door for them. I bet you were quaking in your boots, praying that the police would leave as soon as possible, correct? That's quite understandable, actually. I don't even have to be there to know how scared you and your family were. Scared? <sighs> Me and my family weren't home, that's all. Why would we be scared of the police anyways? Don't you recall that almost my entire family is part of the police force? Use your brain sometimes, you absolute walnut. Anyways, why do I owe the pleasure of talking to you again? Gosh, you and your family's ignorance is as profound as a black hole, isn't it? Well, I'm not trying to waste my time talking with someone who's immune to reason, so I'm gonna make this quick. Listen. I haven't received any of my recent deliveries. Do you happen to know where they are? Your deliveries? Why do they have anything to do with me? I'm not your scapegoat. Stop calling me out for everything that goes wrong with you and your family. Gosh, you never fail to get on my nerves, do you? Look, I know both of you and I are not fond of talking to each other, but I have to because it's about my missing parcels. I waited patiently for my packages to arrive, but after weeks, they still haven't shown up. When I contacted the shipping company, they informed me that your wife had received them on my behalf. I'm not accusing you of anything, but I need to know if you're keeping my deliveries. Are you daydreaming again, Heidi? I feel so sorry for you. Your hallucinations are getting worse and worse. Honestly, a total nutcase like you should be locked up in some madhouse. Consider yourself lucky that you're still able to run around and talk to me like this. I seriously don't have time nor patience to argue back and forth with you, so I'm asking you one last time. Do you, your wife, or son have my packages? If so, where are they now? If you continue to deny that you have them, I'll have no choice but to call the shipping company and have a confrontation between you, me, and the delivery staff from the company. Then we'll be able to tell who is lying and who is not. Do whatever you want. I couldn't care less anyway. Even if I told you I have your packages, what would you do about it then? Are you planning to search my house or call the police on me again? Either way, I'll be the one who gets the last laugh. You know I have the police in my pocket, don't you? Regardless of God knows what plan you can come up with to take revenge on me, I'll always find a way to get back at you. Remember that. My goodness, I have never seen anyone who's more unreasonable than you. Look, don't push my boundaries too hard or else you'll regret it. I bet you still remember the last time one of your cars was towed away by a wrecker. You witch! So you're the one who moved my car without my permission? You made me run around like a headless chicken for nearly two hours trying to find that car. Well, you brought it on yourself. I'd given you a reasonable amount of time to move your cars away, hadn't I? I even tried to talk some sense into you. But it was like talking to a brick wall. 
You left me with no other option but to resort to stronger measures. How dare you violate my privacy and my citizen rights? I'm gonna sue you and put you in jail. You'll regret the day you ever crossed me. No one messes with me and still gets out well and alive. You and your family make no exception. I swear to God, you're gonna experience my wrath like you've never felt before. Well, go ahead and take legal action against me. I'm fully aware of my legal privileges. As a matter of fact, I'd be glad if you sued me, so I don't have to waste my time bringing our issue to the police's attention. I have done enough research and even consulted an attorney, so I can say with confidence that my action is totally legal here. You think that you're outsmarting me, huh? You broad. I swear I'm gonna make you feel sorry for what you did. No one in this neighborhood, I say no one, dares to cross the line and challenge me head on. Since you're the first one, I won't be hesitant to make you suffer. Mark my words, you'll soon be in jail, asking for my forgiveness. Yeah, I've already got a good read on you, so I know that you're nothing but a loudmouth coward. You always talk a big game, but I'm sure you're not willing to back it up. By the way, don't forget to inform me when the police arrive so that I can provide them with the compelling evidence exposing your despicable acts against our family. Robert, tell me what the hell is going on? The police unexpectedly arrived and searched my home where they found a bag containing a white substance that I have no idea how it got there. Now they are summoning me to appear in court for drug possession. And they said that you're the one who filed a police report against me. Uh, I honestly have no idea what's happening right now. Tell me, Robert, why are you accusing me of a crime I didn't commit? Congratulations, Heidi. You've almost made it to jail where you truly belong. I'm so happy for you, and I can't wait until the day you're out of my sight for good. You've been a thorn in my sight for far too long. I'm so glad that I'm finally gonna get some peace and quiet. Look, I haven't got the faintest idea what you're talking about, but I know for a fact that I'm not going to jail and I don't have anything to do with that thing the police found in my house. Don't play dumb and make it seem like you're innocent. We both know that you've been a drug dealer and abuser for your whole life. There's no use trying to hide it. My point is, they found the bag in your house. What evidence would be more convincing than that? Enjoy your quality time behind bars. I'll be sending you some flowers every now and then. I have never abused drugs in my life. I'm a normal person, and my friends, family, and colleagues can attest to that. I'm willing to submit to any drug tests that are necessary to prove my innocence. Wait a minute, something is completely wrong. Robert, tell me the honest truth. Did you frame me? I framed you? Pfft. What kind of nonsense are you even talking about? You're already facing arrest for illegal drug possession, so I suggest you keep your mouth shut to avoid getting involved in even more trouble. Falsely accusing someone of framing could be construed as slanderous. You're well aware of that, aren't you? I could easily sue you for slander and win a large sum of money if the court finds me innocent. Well, I would gladly take that risk as long as it helps me throw off your mask and clear my name. I know the kind of person who's willing to do anything to get what they want, even if it means breaking the law or hurting others. And you? You definitely are one of those people. Yeah, keep whining and throwing tantrums like an angry baby. Boo-hoo, why don't you come crying to your mom and dad too, huh? Don't you dare mention my mother and father. Oh, mommy and daddy, help me. I'm feeling angry because I just got my ass busted by my neighbor guy for drug smuggling. Please do something or else I would hit the big house. <laughs> Gosh, I'm laughing so hard that tears started rolling down my face. <laughs> hey, I bet the business is on a roll, huh? I mean, look at the expensive cars you and your husband have. Gosh, why didn't I think of selling drugs before? I would be a millionaire by now. I can't stand talking with a corrupt, manipulative, and unethical human being like you any longer. You know what? Ain't no way I'm gonna take responsibility for something that I didn't do. I'm gonna talk with an attorney to settle things out. If it was you who framed me 
and intentionally left the bag of drugs in my house, I'll make sure that you'll be begging for my forgiveness, not the other way around. Oh really? Yeah, keep on threatening me with your empty and meaningless words as if your threats were good enough to scare a fly. <laughs> To tell the truth, you don't even know where the bag of drugs came from, so how are you going to make me plead guilty for framing you? I'm so curious, I can't wait to find out what you're going to do about it. Heidi? I'm surprised to see you're still walking around like a free bird. I thought you'd be in the big house by now, counting down the days until you could get back to your mommy's basement. But I guess you're too much of a wimp to even try to hide. The police will find you eventually, and then you'll be locked up for good. Well, enjoy your freedom while you can, Heidi. It won't last long. Oh, please. Don't make me laugh, Robert. Why don't you keep those words to yourself, bird brain? Didn't you check your mailbox? The summons letter from the police should be there by now. What do you mean by summons from the police? Wait, I know, I must be being summoned to receive a reward for helping the police solve a drug smuggling case. This is definitely a win-win situation for me. <laughs> I can't believe I killed two birds with just one stone. Goodness gracious, why didn't I think of this plan sooner? And what exactly is the plan that you're mentioning, Robert? Plan? What plan? It has nothing to do with you. Don't stick your nose in my affairs. Well, Robert. I don't even need you to tell me what there is to know about it. You think you can pull a fast one on me? Well, I'm not so easily fooled. I already knew all about your stupid scheme. If I were in your shoes right now, I would use every ounce of my mental energy to create the most persuasive falsehoods in order to avoid going to jail, even though it would all be in vain. You're not wrong. There's actually a summons in my mailbox. Wait, what? Why did the police suddenly claim that you're innocent and I'm the one who's actually at fault? What is this all about? Heidi, I'm at your front door at the moment. Show up and give me a good reason about all of this. Well, well, Robert. I guess you didn't see it coming, huh? I guess you thought you could get away with it, huh? But I'm not so easily fooled. I know exactly what you and your son did last Tuesday. You played the role of a delivery man to keep me busy while your son snuck in through my open front door and hid the bag of drugs under my bed. I was in your plan all along, so you should know about it better than anyone. What? How did you find out about it? Wait, you're just trying to scare me, aren't you? I bet you're just wild guessing, that's all. Keep making things up without evidence and see if the police will believe any of your nonsense. Robert, please have some sense of knowledge, will you? Do you really think the police will care enough to summon you to their office if I just tell them about it out of the blue? Look, I have video evidence of your failed attempt to frame me and plant drugs in my house. Don't think that I'm bluffing, Robert. I have the whole thing on tape. So please, spare me the act because it's not going to help you evade punishment. How is this even possible? I mean... I was aware of the cameras in your house, so I told my son to be discreet and avoid the areas where they were visible. Gosh, that stupid boy must have slipped up. I knew that I could never trust him to do anything right. So now you're blaming your son for your own mistakes. You truly never cease to amaze me with how evil and cold-blooded you can be. However, I have the truth on my side, and I'm not afraid to fight for it. Heidi, my beloved neighbor. I know that there's been a few misunderstandings between us lately, but there's always a solution to everything. Uh, look, we're neighbors. We don't have to be so harsh on each other. Please, Heidi, spare me this time, and I promise I will do anything you want to make amends for my minor mistake. You call that a minor mistake? You could have put me in jail for years because of it. Honestly, I have to give you credit for faking such a scene. But life doesn't always mistreat innocent people. And bullies like you deserve to get a taste of their own medicine. Come on, Heidi. You don't have to do this to me. You know what they say. Once neighbors, always neighbors. And what do neighbors do? They help each other out in times of need. So can you please tell the police that I'm innocent? Last time I checked, you were so cocky about having your father, brother, and sister-in-law working as police officers. Why don't you just ask them for help then? 
Well, if only it was as easy as you make it. Look, Robert, I'm sure you have a lot of excuses to defend yourself. But save them for the courtroom. You're going to need them to justify your crime. As for me, I'm just here enjoying my well-deserved victory against an aggressive and bullying neighbor like you. And I'll see you in court again soon, Robert. And don't expect me to send you flowers when you're in jail. People like you don't deserve it. A few days after our last conversation, the police raided Robert's house and found a trove of evidence against him. This included drugs, a delivery man uniform, and my missing deliveries! As it turned out, I was right all along about Robert keeping all of the packages. Robert was arrested and charged with drug possession and framing me. He was eventually found guilty and sentenced to five years in prison. I was also cleared of all charges and was able to move on with my peaceful life alongside my husband and my two beautiful daughters. In the end, Robert's bullying behavior backfired on him. He thought he could get away with his crime, but he was brutally wrong. I was smart enough to collect evidence of his crime and to use it to clear my name. Later on, I discovered that Robert's claim about his family's law enforcement tradition was completely false. He fabricated this story to gain credibility and intimidate his neighbors into not standing up to him when he bullied them. Not only that, but further investigation by the police revealed that Robert had also been smuggling and using drugs for a long time. It's rather absurd to believe that he was the one who actually accused me of drug abuse. I am so relieved to finally be free from Robert, the bullying neighbor. I would never want anyone else to experience what I went through. If you are being bullied by a neighbor, please know that you are not alone. You do not have to suffer alone and in silence. Please stand up for yourself and report the bullying to the appropriate authorities. You deserve to be safe and respected just like everyone else.